Question number 11 and it is on sequence. We are given so many sequences, four of them and we have to just write another term and then we have to write the empt term which means the, uh, the formula we have, which we can use to find any term or okay. Now uh, this let's start with the first one. Okay before we start for the n term remember uh, it's a formula which has n and then there is some number here which multiplies with n and then plus or minus we have another number here okay this is our n term where n can be just an n or it can be n square okay it can be that too okay so let's start with the first one the first one looks very simple one two three four and five and then three four five six and then seven okay now to find the n term we will see how much it was increasing it was increasing by 1 right so I will say 1 n and then to find the number if it is anything plus or minus to find this number here I have to compare my n with the first one okay always with the first one so how many n we have 1 n and what is this 1 so it's exactly the same thing I don't have to add or subtract anything okay so the up is just n 1 n okay what about this one then how much we are increasing plus one always plus one yeah so it is again just one n but again to find this number here we have to compare our n with the first one always okay this is three we have one n so how to get to three from one we had one n but we have to go to 3 so to go to 3 from 1 how much should we add or subtract we should add 2 isn't it so if I add 2 from 1 I will get to 3 okay so this is my formula 1n over 1n plus 2 for B now we have 3 4 5 6 oh that's very simple actually yeah and for the formula again how much they are increasing they are increasing by 1 so it's 1n and then to find plus or minus what we will do we will compare our n with the first one always again it's 1 and it's 3 to get to 3 we should add how much 2 right so it's 2 add 2 that's it and let's see this one minus 1 0 1 2 and 3 oh these three are very simple to be honest and again how much are we adding we are always adding 1 so this is 1 n and to find the number either we have to add or subtract what again we have to compare our n our first this was 1 n to get to negative 1 from 1 we should subtract 2 isn't it right to, from 1 to get to negative 1 we should subtract 2 so it's subtracting 2 not adding anything this way this time okay and this is our formula 1 n minus 2 now let's see part D which looks complicated but is it let's find out this is minus 3 and then they have added here 3 and then then they have added 5 and then they have added 7 so this looks a bit complicated but can we find this first they have added 3 then they have added 2 more then 2 more and more and then if they have if I add 9 more this time I will get here 21 okay so anything is common for this type of question if you don't find the adding is common take the common of the common okay that's what I call common of the common which is 2 2 2 bingo this means this is n squared term okay if the common of the common is exactly the same it means is it's n square okay now to find this a number a this number here all I have to do is divide this by 2 okay whatever I find here okay the common of the, if I found 4 I will divide that by 2 I will get the answer to I will write it here okay in this case it's 2 divided by 2 which is 1 so it's 1 n square and to find this number B again exactly the same I have 1 here 1 n compare my 1 with minus 3 how to get to minus 3 from 1 I will deduct 4 1 minus 4 will give me minus 3 okay so it's minus 4 and this is my formula okay now let's see part which one 
part what? Yeah, part B. Which term in sequence A is equals to 336 by 37? Which term? Okay, we have to find the term, which means we have to use the formula. Okay, so for A, what was the formula? It was n over n plus 2 n over n plus 2 and this was equal to they said equal to 36 over 37 which term so n is what we are looking for I will just cross multiply this I will have 36 n is equals to n times 36 is sorry this one is 37 sorry this one is 37 and then n times 36 is 36 n then 2 times 36 is 72 yeah so 37 n is equal to 36 n plus 72 this will here become negative so it will be 37 n minus 36 n is equal to 72 37 minus 36 is 1 so n is equals to 72 okay so our 72nd term will give us this answer anyway so let's see part c it's exactly the same thing but it is for d term which is n square minus 1 n square minus 1 oh the square is very large isn't it? let me make it a bit tiny yeah okay this is 725 this negative one will come here will become a positive so n square is equals to 7 oh it's not minus 1 is it minus 1 it's minus 4 yeah it's minus 4 so it's 725 plus 4 which is 729 this square becomes a square root 729 which is square root of 729 is 27 and it is done the paper is solved thanks for watching do not forget to like the video or comment or anything if you want okay thank you